Good morning everybody, this is Ryan over at Midnight Solar and today I want to talk to you about our offerings to complement the Sunny Island Inverter by SMA. We have a full line of uh, accessories for the Sunny Island. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you some of the uses of Sunny Island because one of the common things that people don't know is that the Sunny Island is a grid tie inverter. A lot of people think they have to have a Sunny Boy to make it grid tie but that's actually not correct. So as you see it here we can do a single sunny island for 120 volts it is 6 kW and we can put classic charge controllers on it and we can make that grid tie or we can make it off grid so the sunny island is an off grid inverter a grid tied inverter or an AC coupled inverter it'll do all three very very well uh, one of the unique things when we use classics with it is we have a communications adapter that plugs into the SMA's COM network and plugs into the classic and it lets the SMA control the classic and it looks just like their charge controller that they use overseas. Uh, SMA does not have a DC coupled charge controller for the states so they requested that we make the communications adapter so our classic will actually talk to that. So as you see there there's a 120 volt version of the grid tied battery backup Sunny Island and you can look down through and we make a 240 volt with the auto transformer on it so same exact thing except for this gives you 240 volts for your critical loads if you had a well pump or something you need 240 volts this says the auto former up there still grid tied still communicates with the classics so with that said like I say we can do up to four Sunny Islands in a system we can do you know a quad stack we can do a three phase uh, you know we can do battery based grid tie we can do off grid or we can do AC coupled so I'll give you a, um, a real quick tour of the AC coupled while we're right here and here's what we offer in the sunny island for AC coupled as you as I said we have a single with the auto transformer we have a dual we have a three phase and then of course we have the quad stack which has a single bypass slider in the master re panel so now with all that said, I want to go actually show you the parts and pieces and, and explain each one and how it can work and what it can do. So I'm going to start right at the top with the AC single e-panel, the MNE 250 SMA-AC single. As you see it, as it ships, it comes with the lightning arrestor and it is an AC coupled e-panel. And basically what that means is you have the extra bus bars over here and the extra breaker for the Sunny Boy input or any grid tie inverter for that matter but the Sunny Boy works particularly well with the Sunny Island and all ready to go this is good for 6kW of Sunny Boy into a 6kW Sunny Island and this is also set up with the special bypass to disconnect the auto former and you know bypass the inverter if you need it there is an option to add a relay board to this if we're doing it as a pre-wired and then you can put 12 kW of Sunny Boy against 6 kW of Sunny Island but in the e-panel only if you're going to wire it yourself it is a one to one ratio 6 kilowatts of Sunny Boy to 6 kilowatts of Sunny Island this picture over here is actually the incorrect slider the slider actually gets all three breakers this breaker right here is the actual uh, uh, auto transformer breaker so that's encapsulated in the slider so if we have to disconnect it from the grid if something's wrong with the sunny island it disconnects the auto former as well so you're not trying to balance the grid now I want to talk about the off-grid single which looks quite a lot like the AC coupled except for this is basically meant for off-grid or you know grid tie of battery backup as you see it it's set up for a single inverter 120 volts and only no auto transformer so this would be for a 120 volt only system and you've still got the bypass just like you would in any of the others and you've got the inverter input and output breakers and of course you know you can get a classic on here two classics on here and we can add the communications adapter as well for the sunny island to do basically an off-grid house or a grid tie with battery backup house and then we go to the off-grid AC dual master. So what this is, is this is a just what it says. It's a dual master e-panel. This e-panel is intended for a scenario where you're using two sunny islands. You would need a slave e-panel over here on the right or on the left, whichever you know side you decide to put the slave on. But this e-panel has the bypass for 240 volts. As you can see, it's got the red and black bus bars for in and out. And 
it has you know the uh, breakers for this sunny island and of course the slavey panel would have the two breakers in the red wire for the uh, slave sunny island which would then wire over to the input bus bars here and that you know once we go above a single the AC coupled or you know the E panels are all the same whether it's AC coupled off grid or grid type battery backup so now we get into the SMA quad master and as you can see this is the actual master E panel for an SMA quad you'll notice on the left hand side we have a 125 amp bypass so this is actually comprised of larger breakers it's got two breakers per you know you know two breakers for the bypass two breakers for the run and they're 125 amps so now you get 125 amps at 240 volts for four sunny islands this would require three slave E panels and our battery combiner box to do it correctly because now you're talking about a thousand amps of DC from the batteries I'll show you the combiner box in a little bit but as I say here you know we've got same as sorry about that same as all the rest we have you know the bypass which bypasses all four sunny islands at the same time and connects the grid to the critical loads or generator if it's off grid and you've got your run breakers over here for the sunny island input and output breakers and then you've got your bus bars and you've got your transition bus bars so basically this would be for doing four sunny islands and you would need three slave E panels so let's go back and talk about the slave E panels actually let's talk about the three phase master first sorry about that out of sequence on you here so the, this picture over here is actually incorrect I'll have to note that and get that fixed as you see here there's two three phase breakers and what happens is that that gives you a three phase bypass instead of a two pole bypass like shown so it works the same as all of our other e panels you have a, a bypass slider up is invert down is bypass if something should happen to the sunny islands you can throw the bypass slider into the bypass position passes the utility grid straight through or the generator straight through and powers the loads just like all the rest of them it's got the three you know the blue the red and the black phases it's got the transition bus bars for the other two slave e panels and it has the input and output breakers for the particular sunny island it's working with and this would require two more uh, slave e panels so now let's go look at the slave e panels so as you can see here the slave e panel is pretty empty um, it's just what it says it is for the slave sunny island so it's for the second third or fourth sunny island and it does come with a bunch of different insulators so you can change the colors of this depending on whether it's three phase or if it's you know needs to be black for a quad stack and it's still l1 so essentially it's just a um, you know it's an e panel for each one of the slave inverters and then it would just get wired over to the master and again the quantity of these would depend on what you're doing if you're doing a quad stack you need three of these if you're doing three phase you'll need two of these if you're doing a dual master a dual system you would need one of these so let's go look at the rest of the accessories here is the auto former um, it fits on the back plate directly above the sunny island inverter it does use the same toroid as the SMA smart former we actually buy the toroids from SMA and uh, just it's in a little smaller package a little less expensive and fits together really neatly so it's just like uh, any other auto former only a little bit larger and makes uh, 240 volts from the 120 volt or it can you know step down a 240 volt generator to 120 volts and then of course we have the short back plate and the long back plate the long back plate is used for a single when you have an auto former involved the short back plate is used when there is no auto former. So if you're doing a quad stack, you'd want to get four of the short back plates. If you're doing a single with an auto former, you'd want to get the long back plate. Uh, this is a unique product for the Sunny Island. It's what we call the SMARB SMA relay board. And we use this for a couple purposes. One is it can be used for a generator transfer so that if you're um, you know you're doing a grid tie system with battery backup and you want to have 
two inputs. You want to have a generator and the utility grid. This can be installed in one of the e-panels and it can actually automatically switch between the generator and the grid depending on the condition of the grid. And it can also give the SMA the digital input signal. It's hard to see but right up above my mouse is an orange terminal block and that's that's in there uh, purposely so that we can give the Sunny Island the dig input that it needs to know that it's now on generator and will not sell back to the generator. And we also use this same board inside our AC coupled with some delay relays and stuff to do, you know, the larger grid tie inverters. Because basically with the SMA, the issue you really have is that it has a 56 amp internal relay. And that's at 120 volts. So if you tried to put 12 kW of Sunny Boy on a single Sunny Island, what would happen is when the relays closed, it would try to pass too much current and the inverter would shut down on overcurrent. So what we do in that case is we wire this in with some delay relays and we actually transfer the Sunny Boy straight over to the grid when the grid is there and bypass the Sunny Island to get around that 120 volt 56 amp relay. And then when the grid comes goes away, we actually move it back to the output of the Sunny Island and that way it can be AC coupled off grid. So that's that's available in the pre-wireds only, but the SMARB is available loose like you see it for generator transfer, um, you know, for any any uh, inverter that has a single input and you want dual inputs. There's a little terminal block down here and there's some jumpers right here. So what you can do is you can put the jumpers on and the SMARB relays will actually be powered by the inputs from the generator or you can move the jumpers down and you can power the SMARB relay coils by the orange terminal block with an external source. Yeah, let me go back to the communications adapter. Not a lot to see there, but it's basically uh, it converts the CAN bus of the Sunny Island to mod bus for the Classic. A single communications adapter plugs into the daisy chain CAN bus on the uh, Sunny Island, and then it does daisy chains RS-232 uh, connectors up to four Classics. So we can stack four classics on the Sunny Island system and they show up in the Sunny Island menus as charge controllers. And the Sunny Island tells the classics what to do, sets their charging voltages, gives them their battery temperature, everything. So basically all you have to do is initially set the classic for 48 volts, set it for SMA mode, plug the cables in, and the Sunny Island takes control and does everything that it needs to do and treats it as if it was its own charge controller. So that's a real elegant solution if you're doing a grid tie with battery backup or you're doing a mixed hybrid system with some AC coupled and some DC coupled. This is a really nice solution because it then puts the Sunny Island in control of all battery charging. So the Sunny Island is telling the Sunny Boys what to do and the Classics what to do and the two just work together you know, in perfect harmony. I wanted to show you the actual battery combiner while I'm right here. So let's go to battery accessories and let's go to battery combiner. Uh, which one do I, I need? The 50 millivolt. You'll notice we have a 50 millivolt and a 100 millivolt shunt. And basically what that boils down to is in, inside the box here, this one's shown with the optional bus bar, which we'll talk about, but there's a 1000 amp shunt right here. So essentially what you'd normally do is come in with your battery strings and go out to your four Sunny Island inverters and that way everything goes through the shunt. Now the Sunny Island needs a 50 millivolt shunt. Uh, the Radian, for instance, uses a 1000 millivolt shunt. So we offer both selections and you just have to check with your inverter manufacturer or battery monitor manufacturer and figure out which shunt is proper for you. Um, so with that said, what this box does is allow you to take multiple strings of batteries out to multiple inverters or a single string of batteries to multiple inverters or multiple strings of batteries to a single inverter. So if you're doing both, let's say you've got four strings of batteries and four Sunny Island inverters, you can get this optional negative bus bar that goes on the other side of the shunt so you have extra attachment points. You could bring you know, six or twelve strings of batteries in and go out to six or twelve inverters. Um, you, as you see here, this is a, a really nice installation done and you can see that they've actually double lugged the, uh, the lugs so they actually put two lugs on each stud which gives you a lot of attachment points. You could actually drill the copper bus bars and use stainless hardware and bolt the lugs on as well if need be. But these are 1000 amp rated bus bars and this box is plenty big for bending room. And another unique feature of this box is it has 12 of these knockouts over here 
that allow you to put battery breakers in. So let's say you've got six strings of batteries and you want overcurrent protection on each string. You can put breakers in here and protect those strings of batteries just like you would a combiner box for PV. And the, the knockouts as you see them are made for our MNE DC 125, 175 or 250 amp breakers. They will work with our MNE DC 5 amp through 100 amp breakers but you will need the uh, breaker adapter in order to make them fit in the box. Like I say just kind of a nice universal box um, really 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 elegant for doing uh, you know three or four sunny islands it also works really well for doing multi-cluster systems of sunny islands um, and those of you that are familiar for multi-cluster will know it could be four groups of four sunny islands or four groups of three sunny islands uh, stacked in three phase so it could be like 12 sunny islands on a single system and in that case you could do a battery combiner box for each cluster and put the three 250 amp breakers in each box for each cluster and then you get the four clusters beside each other and then you the you have the uh, multi-cluster box for the AC side of things so there's there's a lot of solutions there for SMA we encourage you to give us a call we encourage you to uh, ask us questions but we do have a, um, a whole line of products intended to complement the Sunny Island inverter and its installation in a code compliant way in an off-grid scenario, a battery based grid tie scenario or an AC coupled scenario. And we do pre-wire for all of those scenarios. So for, you know, if you have any questions, give us a shout. You, uh, we can be reached very easily. Our contact info is right here, right on the bottom. There's our phone numbers. Here's my phone number, my direct phone number. Um, all of our emails are on the website. So don't be afraid to give us a shout. We can help you out with the SMA stuff. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Ryan of Midnight Solar.